Next news out of Michigan, USA. A satanic Yule goat has been put up outside the Michigan state capitol. So um, as part of a part of a Christmas display, the satanic temple of the uh, West Michigan chapter has put up a Yule goat outside of the state capitol. And this is the first time they've done this for Christmas, um, this chapter. Anyway, so um, this, this goat head straw body, we're going to show you guys a video about it. Um, was put up there, and it, it's driven Christians mad. They're so angry. Uh, one of the rules, they had a lot of stipulations. They had to remove the goat every night, and they could put it back every morning. Um, and they're jumping through all these hoops so that they could have kept the goat out there for Christmas, uh, the, the Yule goat for Christmas um, as part of the satanic display. Um, but the origins of this Yule goat is is the funny part to me because the Christians are mad that the Satanists are out there putting up their own Yule whatever. Uh, but but where this goat came from was a video. And if they were to have seen the video, um, they would have been a thousand times more angry about this goat being out there. Armin, are you ready to show it? Yeah, let me bring it up. Okay, let's put the... All right, so you have to bear with me, okay? Because... You're not going to be able to hear it, but our audience will be able to hear it. It's just one minute, so let me just show the one minute. Where's the audio? Hold on. Is there music? Should I play it? There's no music, right? I don't know. I, it, the music doesn't matter. Like, no one's talking. So. Okay, so I'm, we're going to mute it because I don't want to get any copyright strikes. Because I don't know if there's any music. Okay. So, for people that are um, listening to this on a podcast instead of the video, there's some, the, the skull is there, there, there's these half-naked women pouring blood over it, and then they're rubbing the blood over their body. Um, they have upside-down crosses as their necklace. Somebody is, this is, wow, this is pretty crazy. This, <laughs> I mean, it's dark in an interesting way. There's smoke. There's red stuff, you know, there's, the what is this? Wow. I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> Help me out here. I don't they're, know they're bathing in blood and they're, bathing the goats in blood and they're rubbing it all over their bodies and it's, it's fun. It's a very fun video. Are, are we allowed to show this? This is, okay. <laughs> all right. At least their nipples are covered with upside down cross and crosses. So I'm hoping Facebook allows us uh, and YouTube allows us showing this. I think it was, I think it was fine. I mean, it's on Facebook, the video, so. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. That was that was something. Hold on, let me go back to seeing us. Um, wait, so <laughs> so they don't know about the like what this call. Okay, they should see this. I want them to get even more triggered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they were so mad about about the goat being there and the satanic satanic temple being there. But had they seen that video? And knowing that it's the goat from that video. Right. Oh. So, so here's the thing. In, where is this? This is Michigan um, State Capitol. Are, is, is it allowed to put religious symbols in a government, you know, property there? So, yeah. if, if you allow one religious symbol, one nativity scene, one whatever, you have to allow all. Otherwise, they're showing favoritism. And that's, that's you know. Yeah, this is great. I mean, this is how you get Christians or any religious majority in a democratic country uh, to support secularism. <laughs> this is how you get it done. You know, you open the door to your religion. This is what you get. You know, be careful what you wish for. Uh, I mean, the satanic, again, I keep saying this, the satanic temple and everything satanic is the best way to promote secularism in the United States because... I don't want to do it, that, you know, because the Christians also get triggered by Islam, you know, sneaking in. Like if they open the door to religion, Islam could also make it into public, you know, to into government. But the problem with that is that we don't want that either, right? We don't want like Christians will get scared of that, but so do so so do we. Like we don't. Uh, but what I like about satanic stuff is because none of this is serious. Like these people don't believe in Satan, you know. Uh, at least the satanic temple doesn't. So, uh, but but the Christians don't either don't know that or don't believe it, so they get really scared about anything satanic showing up in their in you know in school or in government offices and stuff like that. 
So it's a very harmless way of opening the door to religion that Christians don't like. So f to get them support separating church from state, right? Uh, I don't want to use right. th the problem. Okay, so the, there's options, right? You have the satanic stuff. You have Islam, which we don't want to use because that's dangerous. Uh, we have the flying spaghetti monster or the Jedi temple. Or uh, but the problem with those is that the Christians are not scared of that, that of those things that much because they don't think they are actual religions. They see them as joke religions. Uh, so they're like, yeah, whatever. But the satanic stuff is fantastic because they see it as something serious. Uh, and it's the har most harmless thing for us to allow because it's a fake religion. Um, yeah. So yeah, keep uh, c c you know. Kudos to all the satanic people in the United States. You are the, at the front line of upholding. You and the Freedom F from Religion Foundation are at the front line of uh, defending secularism. Um, <laughs> okay. The top comment is funny, but I'm not going to read it. It's a bit too long. Uh, uh, Stephanie saying Yule and Satanic, two very different things. Uh, but wait, what is that? Yule and Satanic. Oh, these are this is not Satanic. It, what is it, she saying that it's paganistic? Yeah, well, okay, so who cares? No, but the, but do, but the, okay, so stuff that what you don't understand is that when the Christians became the majority. Um, became the major religion in Rome. What they try to do is to try. They try to associate all non-Christian things, uh, except you know Islam and Judaism, to say the Satan. So that's why you see the devil has his horn. You know, the, and because there's nowhere in the Bible that he has horns, uh, or the, or the what's that fork thing called that he holds it. The I don't know. Uh, the devil's what is that thing that the, the devil holds? Like all, all the attributes of the devil, it doesn't come from the, the pitchfork. The pitchfork, yes. Um, the you know the hooves, everything. The you know the tail, all of that. The, the description of hell, they come from pagan stuff. So the way Christianity looks at satanic things, it really looks um, very much like pre-Christian religions in and around Rome so there's a there's a gray area for what what's satanic and what's you know pagan religion because the way sa satanists see themselves today uh, the imagery that they use is the imagery that the Christians used to describe them so that's why it looks a lot like pagan and pagan stuff right I mean the pitchfork is basically comes from Greek gods right um, yeah anyways so you get what I'm saying. Let me just close this one. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي podcast باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.